One of the trickiest problems in 3D animation is dynamically attaching and detaching objects or bones in the scene. Normally, this requires complex setups that are difficult to manage and easy to create. But Animation Snapper Pro offers a clever solution. You simply tell the add-on which scene elements should follow another element, and it automatically bakes this relationship into keyframes. In the end, nothing is actually parented or constrained. It only looks that way. This is a surprisingly simple and elegant solution to a complicated problem. This tool can be applied in many situations. Parent switching, attaching characters to moving objects or even deforming surfaces, dynamic pivots, but also motion capture cleanup. For CG Dive viewers, I'll quickly demonstrate some mockup cleanup. A common problem with mockup is sliding feet. So for example, here where the foot should be firmly on the ground, it slides a little bit. So I have to address it from frame one, two, three, to around frame 200. So I can go to the start where the foot becomes planted, adjust the pose a little bit if I need to, and then I'll set it as the snapped object in the Animation Snapper Pro interface. I don't need to set the source yet. Then I can just press helper for each. This will create this helper oriented exactly as my foot and it will be static. And the add-on automatically filled this helper as the source object. So now my foot can copy the transforms of this helper object. In this interface, I can start clicking step forward. And this will keyframe the foot in this position. So for a couple of frames, it's already fixed and stable. So I can just keep pressing this button. But instead I can also batch bake it. So I'm going to bake from one, two, three, and up to frame 200. And let me switch to the curve editor and then press batch forward. And notice how the curves were rebaked and updated. So now we have a perfectly stable foot for this duration. 